Hi James. Hello. You Can you right? introduce yourself? Hi, I'm James Cox. And where are you from? Um, originally from Swindon, which is in Wiltshire, but I've moved down to Cardiff about four years ago, four or five years ago. And what do you do here? Um, well, my current job is I work for Photo Gallery, which is a photography gallery, gallery in Cardiff and Penarth, and I am working for Diffusion Festival as the volunteer and events coordinator. And what does that role entail? Um, it involves uh, getting volunteers to um, for to help at the festival all different types of roles. So that's anything from helping install um, artists' work to um, invigilating the spaces to documenting the work and so forth. And before you had this role, you were active uh, an active volunteer at G Thirty Nine Gallery. I was also I was the uh, gallery intern there, the warp intern. So G G Thirty Nine is a was a or is still is a um, artist independent artist led uh, con uh, contemporary gallery, and within that they have a, a program called Warp, which stands for Wales Artist Resource Program, and within that I was the intern for that. So, as well as a lot of admin roles, there was a volunteer programme within that. So, I was in charge of the volunteer programme there as well. And so, you were kind of a manager of the volunteers? Yeah. So, um, as well, they had about a bit... Within their system, they had about 100 registered volunteers, which then sort of fluctuated between sort of 60 to 40, depending, because I did reviews of the amount of people that were on there. And my role was, depending on what the programme was, um, depending if it was a, a, a conventional uh, gallery uh, exhibition to an event, I would get the volunteers to help out, whether it be invigilation, helping at events, uh, to installing, to doing publicity, all sorts of things like that. Have you volunteered for any other organisations in Cardiff? I've, uh, I've volunteered at quite a lot of places within Cardiff, so I originally, my first volunteer position um, was at Arcade Cardiff, which is a gallery in Queen's Arcade, and that was in October of 2013, I believe, and uh, that was part of Maiden Roaf. So Maiden Roth is a community arts festival that happens every October and within that they have volunteers. So I, I was in my first or, sec first or second year, I can't quite remember, and I volunteered, they did a call out for volunteers with, um, when I was a student at uh, CSAT, Car School of Art and Design. And I volunteered for, with them and they had a project uh, in collaboration with Arcade Cardiff, and that was my first volunteer pro volunteer position. Good. Were there any other ones? Um, from that point, um, that was actually a really positive experience uh, volunteering with um, Maiden Roth that first year. Um, I loved it so much that I just, from that point, right up until I got the position at G39 in February 2016. I volunteered for three years solidly in loads of different places. So Maiden Roth, I have a really sort of strong uh, relationship with them now. I volunteered with them for about two years and then I was able to build up enough confidence to do my own sort of, because uh, I'm a visual artist myself, I was able to work with them on my own projects through the volunteering that I did with them. Can you explain a little bit what Maiden Roth is? Uh, Maiden Roth um, is a community arts festival that happens every October um, within within Roth, and its um, its onus, its sort of ethos, or sort of commanding mission statement is to sort of take um, art into the community. So, within the, the month of October, you have you know, art exhibitions, open houses, uh, performances, um, theatre, music, dance, and it's not, it occupies you know, about, I think, 60 different venues, it was last year, I believe, all across, all across Rofe, and um, 
it's really, really valuable to not only the artist community within Rove, but to a lot of people, a lot of the, the residents of Rove, if they've taken it and they and have really embraced it and they look forward to it every year. Do you have any favourite memories during those times? Uh, favourite memories... Um, of your volunteering with well, them? Well, for volunteering, I remember I... Um, I was actually talking to it with Helen Clifford, who is one of the organisers from Maiden Row, about it on Sunday. We were looking back on one particular tie off. It was the first time I volunteered with them for their closed road event, which is like the, the Fe Maiden Row is a festival that happens in October, but it's for one week. And the last Saturday, they had like a closed road on Plas Newif Road off Albany Road. And I did. I was still quite nervous of volunteering, but they were like, she was like, why don't you do the paint spinning stall? So I ended up having to be on this paint spinning stall for a couple of hours working with, you know, children to, you know, make, make these, you know, putting paint on a paper plate and spinning it around. Got absolutely ha I remember I, I wanted to look smart because I didn't want, I wanted to, not to look scruffy because sometimes I do look a bit scruffy. And I wore a white shirt and that got covered in one of my favourite white shirts I got covered in paint and then it was like a torrential downpour but it, it was such a great experience because I'm, I'm volunteering but I did and I was I was doing this you know project but it felt like I was really get you know getting to know people within Maiden Rofe within the community and because this is like kind of early on in my my time in Cardiff, getting to know the place that I'm in now. Because one of my next questions is, how do you think that volunteering has helped you get to know your community better? It's 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 been the main thing that's got me um, feeling comfortable. It's made Cardiff my home because um, Swindon, um, although it does have its own artist community, it's very small. It's not as well funded. And it hasn't really got that same sort of, you know, quite, um, it's, not, it's nowhere near as vibrant as, a, as Cardiff. Every opportunity, every paid job that I've had in, in Cardiff has come from volunteering at different organisations. So, um, like I said earlier, Maiden Roof, um, working for them, made, sure, made it so I could um, help um, uh, do my own personal like art projects with them, volunteering at G39, how it's like I could get a job there and that job came made me have this job here. But it meant I could also met all the people within the artist community that are now, you know, close friends. I met my girlfriend through volunteering. So and it helped me geographically know the place because they'd say, James, you've got to go down to work at Cardiff Bay to do some art project there and got you know made me understand just the geographics the, the, of getting from place to place. Was there an art project in Cardiff Bay that you worked on? Yes I did, a nice little segue there. Um, it was for um, Cardiff Contemporary in 2015. Cardiff Contemporary is a biannual contemporary arts festival that takes over the um, kind of city centre and beyond and it was a project for I can't, I can't remember the artist's name I think it's but basically it was an art project where he had um, an out of a an out on the Cardiff Bay Barrage there's a um, there's an outpost that looks out onto the onto the onto the sort of the, the sea and he had a project um, where there was like a, basically I had to invigilate this wooden shed, which was like a mariner's shed that they used to have like, so I basically had to volunteer to in, invigilate this like cold wooden shed. It was, it was, it was very cold, but it was a, it was a good experience. Was it in winter? It was, it was like that, 
in between, it was October, October it was, so it was very cold. They had like a proper old fashioned mariner's blanket, which was uh, kept us from freezing. I remember I wrote my dissertation in there as well. While volunteering, have you met anyone that has greatly impacted your life? Um, well, on a personal level, I met my girlfriend volunteering at uh, G39. Um, it's, I've met um, my boss at Photo Gallery, was through volunteering. Um, I met the people at, I met, um, what else? I, 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 would, I would go so far as to say the majority of the people within the arts community has come through volunteering. So pretty much everyone that has helped me in my career, have, I have volunteered with them in some capacity. I'm going to try and feel out this question as I say okay. it. Normal definitions of volunteering kind of can encompass things like going to collect funds or you know, painting a shed or something. Mm. How do you see um, volunteering within the arts community? Do you see, how do you see that fitting in with these other traditional kinds of ideas of volunteering? Um, well, the sort, of, the sort of roles that I have done in the arts community with volunteering, it can be anything from painting a shed, moving a shed, um, and doing a lot of practical stuff. Um, a lot of traditional volunteering roles are within that because the nature of of a lot of community-based art projects, there is a lot of, uh, sort of, you know, I think you said gardening and as, as a, one of the sort of traditional volunteering methods. Maiden Rover do a lot of things where community projects, community art projects, which involve the sort of traditional volunteering roles, all the way up to invigilating, um, for those who don't know what invigil invigilating is, it's looking after a, a event, uh, a, exhibition or a venue during its opening hours. Um, a lot of sometimes a role, uh, volunteering roles can be helping out doing, doing talks with people that come into the exhibition. So it's learning about the artists or the artists or the project that's being contained and then being able to um, articulate that to the visitors that come in. So that's quite a, a, a highly skilled role but with a lot of if you're doing something like that there's a lot of training that's come to it along with that um, so it's really really varied the type of roles you can get involved with did you have to go through uh, any training as a volunteer um yes uh, for certain things definitely um for my stuff for my volunteering at g39 there was Every volunteer had to go for an induction. That's just knowing about the organisation. Um, for certain exhibitions, there were um, sort of curator and artist walk around. So the artist talks about the work. So then you, so you, you're being trained on what the work's about. Um, and then for the Diffusion Festival, we're gonna in May we're gonna have a training day for all the volunteers to t tell them all about the the different um, different artists that are contained within the festival um, and specifically when uh, for, for G39 and through Photo Gallery and to, certain expen to, to a certain extent Maiden Rove there's a lot of practical in installation installing of work where there's you know learning how to do particular practical tasks that are involved in that. What does volunteering mean to you? Um, <laughs> it, it's kind of a tough question, in a sense. It it means a very a great deal to me, um, because I, like I said before, it's it's given me every opportunity that I've had within Cardiff. So on a, on a professional level. It's given me, it means a lot because I wouldn't be in my position doing this interview with you or in this job at Photo Gallery now 
without volunteering. So on a professional level, it's been very, very beneficial and means a great deal to me. On a personal level, um, although I'm not getting paid for the, the work, I'm getting, it's a very valuable experience in the sense that I'm personally feeling very nourished by being involved with, you know, you know, very interesting projects, things I wouldn't necessarily have got involved with um, if it was a paid job. Um, yeah, so it's, it, it's very nourishing on a personal level. And if you had to define volunteering, like a definition in the dictionary, how would you define it? I would define it as... Um, it's, it's hard because if you say volunteering you're offering up your time for free. That's quite a literal um, definition because you are doing it for doing it. You're not getting paid for it, but that's not necessarily the emphasis I want to put on it because you're getting paid back in a, on a different level, something that's more than money. So volunteering, I would say, is where you are. You're not get you're offering your time and being paid not through money but through a through an, a more valuable nourishing experience whether it be personal or professional and before our interview we talked a bit about the uh, volunteering climate in the UK I don't know if would you like to comment on that any for yeah um, I think um, it's something that I personally l think about a lot is because, like we just said in the previous question, you're giving up your time for free. And I think sometimes you, you have to strike a balance where you're not the people, if you're, if you're, cause, because now my role is more with managing volunteers. So sometimes the, the climate, especially with um, around 2010 when David Cameron came in, I'm naming him by, by his name because he did say it, but the whole big society thing where you're moving away from being, paying people to do a job to getting the community um, and volunteers to take up those roles and I really try in my management, in the managing of volunteers, to make it so they're not feeling like the, that we've forsaken, we've changed this from a paid position to a, a, a volunteer position because we don't want to pay the money. That's, so there's a balance there of making sure that people don't feel like this, that we're using them. Um, I think it was, with that whole big society thing, I think it, it gave a lot of organisations, um, not, not within Cardiff, but I've seen in other places, they get rid of a paid position and then they put a volunteer, a volunteer position in, instead. And I think that really gives volunteering sometimes a bad, bad name, where really it should be a give and take a, a proper two-way street where someone's volunteering because they want to be part of a particular organisation or a particular project and the person that's offering that volunte vo volunteering wants to help that person um, with, you know, help them develop in whatever way they, whatever, whatever, whatever way they can and specifically because the roles that I've been doing, more management roles of volunteers, I've been really conscious that I don't want the volunteers to feel that they're being used. So they're not, so to make sure that that balance is right, that they're giving their time for free in a sense, but that we make, I make sure that if they're doing, if they're doing, if they're giving their time, I will help them um, develop in whatever ways that they, the re for basically the reasons why they want to become a volunteer, let's help them develop in, the, in those ways. So say for example, volunteers come in because they want to help, they want to know more about 
um, installing um, um, an exhibition of, or something, or I'm working with artists, let's make sure that we give them, um, let's make sure that, let's make it so they volunteer um, installing a show and they get to meet the artists, they get to learn practical roles, they get to learn working with artists, so they get a lot from it. And then you can have meetings with them after where you can see, oh, how was that? Did you get a lot from that? So, so it's not just that they feel like the club to, to try and really push against that climate of let's take away a paid position and give it, make it, make it to a voluntary position. And that's what I, I want to make sure there's that real balance. That's beneficial for both parties. No, both, both parties. And no, and, they, and, and make sure that they feel like their be, their time is valued. That's the most important thing. If they're not, if it, I would get really upset if uh, I'm not doing my job properly. If they're, if they're, if they feel that their time is not valued. So my last question, the fill in the blank question. Okay. Volunteering is dot dot dot. Um, really valuable. Good. Anything you'd like to add? No, that's fine. Good. Thank you for your time. That's all right. Thank you.